Okay, I'm in by Chini and I have a Connie here. But what about, okay, Connie, we can try. Valkyrie, okay, if you want to try, try a Connie, sure. Ah, uh, okay, you cannot get into, okay. Yeah, I came prepared. <laughs> I claimed quite a few ships to buy Genie. Well, I never managed to get a trolley into Valkyrie in the first place. I mean, I saw your video, but I couldn't manage to. So, where are you? Do you want do you want to come to by Genie for the Connie? Or should I come down with a Connie? Okay. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay, city hangars have medical trolleys, okay. I'm spawning Connie. I know, I know I claimed my consolation, but yeah, it, this is still, this is still bugged. If you click on Andromeda, I, I got my Aquila instead. Okay, I, I come down in any ship. Uh, I have my, I have my Connie down in Area 18. I'm just using something small to come down. Yeah, this is still, I noticed this is still, um, sometimes you get, sometimes the wrong ship gets claimed. Still. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. No, I don't have a tractor beam. Should I, do I need a tractor beam? Do you need a tractor beam? Okay, then I have to go back up, uh, <laughs> have to go back inside to buy one. Okay, do we need a second one? Okay, then I'll just come down. Yeah, I am... This this happened to me two times today. I was claiming a ship and instead it claimed the ship underneath it. Come on, lift off. Landing gear retracted. Okay, I'm coming down to area 18. Hello. Thank you. Piss hang. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> sure I mispronounced this. Was not intentional. Okay, I'm over the city, I'm trying to find the spaceport. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm a bit lost. I mean, it's not a... Okay, I found it. <laughs> it's not the first time I'm landing here, but yeah, you get, you get just thrown out over the city. I found a spaceport. Hello, Edwin Wright. Huh. 
that <laughs> why is this a meta Cladius? Okay, I still don't have don't have a key. Thank you for contacting EDO landing For ATC. Okay, let's ask for permission to land. And play the game. Where is my landing pad? Please proceed to assign landing bay. At least we don't have those silly spines anymore. Those landing spines. Hello, Max Power. Hello, hello. I'm here with Flicker. We are doing some shenanigans. Tomorrow there will be a video of HAL A. You can, this was Flicker's idea. You can actually use HAL A as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> and warning, there will, there will be a new patch today, so we might get kicked out in like an hour. But maybe we can download the new patch quickly, not so sure yet. I just needed something to get down. Oh, look how immersive this landing is. This is so immersive. You can just stay in the air like this. Okay, landing gear. Oh, perfect landing. Best landing ever. Are you in the game, Flicker? Okay, should I... Okay, I can now spawn an Andromeda. You said there were medical beds in the hangars. Are you sure? Maybe we have to try different hangars. Gladius, the best ship, the best fighter in the game. Well, one of the best right now. I remember back in the days, Gladius was one was my second ship and I sold her. She was so terrible in 3. Point, no, sorry. She was so terrible in 2.4 and 2.5. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is a new coffee shop vendor. I made a video. Okay, this time she is smoother. Yeah, back in 2.4, the Cletus was such a dog. She only had three says two gun mounts and she was so Welcome sluggish. She was oversteering in each and every turn. This was really brutal. Yeah, but Seba is very bad, right? Since 3.14, Seba is a duck. Air superiority fighter, my ass, Chris. Okay, spawning Andromeda. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Thank you for visiting our course. Your vehicle has been delivered to the Hangar 04. I saw Flicker. Okay, Hangar 04. Ditch. Okay, Flicker needs a coffee. <laughs> Would you like? Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Take care. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> okay, I give up. On my second PC. On my second PC, I'm trying to find out about the new first and hunger meter, but I always get a 30k. I had a 30k after 41 minutes, now I have a 30k after one hour, one minute. I think I give up on this patch on my second PC for now. From transforming worlds to exploring the stars, our corp is proud to bring the universe closer together. Why? Why do you want to do this, Flicker? You mean when he is developing? The developing? Flicker wrote she wants to hire someone to follow Chris around and comment on every action he makes. Come on, 
elevator. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is typical CIG. Yeah, we want NPCs to be immersive. So NPCs are always talking to themselves. Which wouldn't be even too bad if they wouldn't repeat the same line of text all day long. So this makes it very unimmersive if an NPC is repeating the same line of text. So now we need a medical stretch. Okay, here is one. Here are two. Yeah, we, we only have very few supermarkets in Germany with, with self-lockout, but we have a few. Oh, I cannot move this thing. Flicker, I cannot move this stretcher. I can't move it. Do you have one? Okay, grip. I tried to push, didn't. No, I just can't move it. Okay, now. Oh, wow, this is slow. Do we even get a pro okay, I get a prompt to lie down. Interesting. Hello, friendly space dragon. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I rather would have NPCs that are shutting up than NPCs that are repeating the same line of text. All over again, okay. I fell down. Let's try to pull. Hello, Hammer T, Hammer PT. Okay, I will look what Flickr does. Maybe Flickr does a better job than I do. <laughs> Okay, I have this. I, I hope you not. You didn't die. Okay, I have a new. I I, I don't have anything to heal. Are you downed? Oh no. Sorry, I, I I forgot to buy something to heal. So flicker flicker is downed. Flicker died while pushing a trolley. Sorry, Flicker. No, no, I'm not banned on Spectrum anymore. I'm not banned anymore. I have a video where you could lay down on the sideways bed, but now here it's, r oh. Of course you can. Yeah, <laughs> you can lay down sideways. Look, it's perfectly fine. Those beds have their own microgravity. Or maybe it's because there are no physics in this game. So you can you can choose one of two hello <laughs> warp space. So either those stretchers have their own microgravity or there are no physics in Star Citizen. Sorry Flicker. I forgot to buy magical shit. No, it's just the actually goes the cheapest way. I mean, seriously, I don't expect real good. I, I don't expect perfect physics. I don't even expect Kerbal physics. But we have like no physics in this game, which makes me sad. Okay, let's stand up. Okay, when you stand up, this thing moves reverse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, another thing is you can do nothing with those things anymore. You cannot get them upright. So now it's just an obstacle. I hope that my ship doesn't explode when, uh, when I retract the elevator. Okay, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Don't explode, okay. We want, want to check out if you can survive a fall when you are lying on the trolley. As you might know, you can survive even a 30 kilometer fall when you are inside a buggy and in most vehicles, even on a planet with one G. So, so much for there are no physics in this game. Again, not looking for perfect physics, but obviously you shouldn't survive a 30 thousand meter fall onto a planet. Hangar 04, 04 flicker. Sorry, I, I forgot to prepare. And by the way, I took 2% damage too. Okay, I got Flicker killed. At least, yeah. Success, I got Flicker killed again. Hello, Tommy. Yeah, but Starfield, I'm looking very forward to Starfield, but it's single player, which isn't a bad thing. It's single player, right? Trolleys are still lethal. Yeah, they are still lethal. Flicker died pushing a trolley. <laughs> okay, there she is. I think Flicker brought a tractor beam. We might time out Flicker. I'm here now for quite a while. I think we need to get going, or is there no more limit? Okay, Flicker Road, we are okay. Yeah, I hope that Bethesda is using a new engine for Starfield and not their shitty old engine. What's it called? I don't think you can move this thing with a tractor beam. It should be too heavy, right? Or can you? It's behind you. There's, there's one trolley inside on the elevator, yeah. I still not, not so sure, I'm still not sure how Flicker wants to get the trolley out. Okay, what's this? What's going on? Flicker, you hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, Flicker wrote, multi-tool is drawing itself. Do you want to fly, Flicker? Okay. You can check if everything is all, all right with the trolley. Okay, trolley is the right way up. That's so funny. You can play for a few minutes and you get new outros. 
all the time in this game. I love it. You are clear to launch. Should we go to Lyria? Okay, we can, if you want to. Sure. Do we need to get to Lyria or can we do this here? Is there a specific reason why you Want to go to Luria? Ah, okay, no crown here. Okay, yeah, you are right. Yeah, this is just... Just buildings. By the way, but I think I was dropping onto this before. And uh, was just falling through. Yeah, Expanse is on sale. 160 or something like this, right? Yeah, CRG wrote the city crazed raid, but as always, they didn't tell us by how much, which I really dislike. So, I was starting my second computer and I was, I was making a time lapse on my second PC. And so far, first time lapse 30k after 43 minutes. Second time lapse 30k after 61 minutes and today we are getting a new patch so for now my second computer is shut down, no time lapse. I hope that I don't get 30k's after the second, after the, after the new patch. Okay, Flickr wants to go to 30k, uh, to 20k. I mean, okay, if you want to, shouldn't make much of a difference, but we can do this. I heard I heard running makes you die of first in one one in under one hours. I heard that if you are doing physical things, you die even quicker. Yes, but there's no easy way to test this. I mean, I'm just settling for the best case, just standing there in a building that is well air conditioned. So my video is the best case, and this was bad enough already. Of course, I will do it again when we are getting your next patch and when it's a bit, a bit more stable, hopefully. There will be a new patch today. Yeah, I was working on it, like I mentioned, 30k twice, so, and I'm stopping now on my second PC because we get a new patch anyway. Yeah, 22, okay, I'm a bit too high. I mean, I wouldn't, it wouldn't even be so bad if you could take care of hunger and thirst when you are in a ship, for example, or if the ship takes care for you. 
if you just assume as long as you are in a ship, you are fine. This would be all right with me. Okay, Flicker, I was going up a little bit too much and I left at atmosphere. I'm flying back down, sorry. I think H of at okay, now I'm again, okay. We are at 21,000, okay, I'm now coming to a standstill. Okay, where's my ladder? Okay, zero forward speed. Oh, this is dark. Okay, should we lower the elevator? Should I open cargo bay? Okay, open cargo bay. Let's see if I survive when I'm on the trolley. Come on, stay. Okay, should I go onto the, tro the trolley, Flicker? Okay, Flicker will now kick me out of the ship. Okay, camera is running. Oh, it works. <laughs> hey, I, I didn't know that you can move so much mess. I mean, this is one guy and one searcher. Okay, I'm, I should be falling now. Let's see if I survive. When I'm on a stretcher, Ob obviously this will take a while. I think we were at 21,000 meters. I don't even know. Flicker, do I move away from you? I can't even see if I fall. Where's my ship? No, I. Okay, yeah, I fall, but very, look how slowly I fall. Okay, guys, this, <laughs> this will take a while. When I make a video out of this, there will be a time lapse or a cut, of course. Yeah, I'm falling like very slowly. By the way, another thing that's still not in the game, we have no acceleration in free fall and you are falling very slowly. Like I mentioned, I don't want, I don't expect perfect physics, but I don't want to have a game with no physics at all. M.O. Hello, M.O. I am moving, but I'm moving very slowly. I am concierge, yeah. Is this only for, is the page only up for concierge today, Flickr? Okay. I know this is rather slow, but I didn't expect it to be so slow. Flicker, I'm falling, right? Okay, Flickr wrote, yes, I'm falling surprisingly slowly. Yeah, I mean, there will be a time lapse. What's our altitude, Flickr? What's your altitude now? Eighteen kilometers, so it's very slow.
Okay, while we are falling, quickly, someone wanted to see the concierge thing. Mix expands, upgrade your mining operation, key features, ready to receive. Yeah, I mean, it's on stream now. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this, but okay, forget it. Yeah, and the most important thing, by the way, this is my local price with my local tax. Your price might very well vary. So it's maybe one thirty dollars plus tax, I guess. Is this enough? I'm closing this again. <laughs> if you want to see this, you can see it on stream. It's not too expensive, actually. Okay, closing. Flicker, what is our altitude now? Janus wrote, thanks, we'll pause and read. You're welcome. I hope it's okay to show this. I think it's okay. If I wanted to, I could even make a video, I think. But I'm not, don't want to make a video about this. Flicker, are we getting any closer? <laughs> it looks like I'm very stationary. 17 kilometers, oh God. So, okay, sorry guys, if I would have known this, you would have started at around 2000, but Flickr wanted to have 20 kilometers. It's all, it's all Flickr's show, fault. <laughs> no, of course, you couldn't know this. Yeah, I thought I would drop faster too. Flickr wrote, I thought you would drop a lot faster. Flicker wrote, at least I'm safe from getting murdered. Yeah, you were murdered by a trolley. Are you following, following me? I don't see you now. Yeah, I was wondering how you transport your mind or from prospector to expanse, there is a tractor beam, which makes sense, of course. New Tesla spaceship. Okay, uh, chat, write in, please write in chat if you think I will survive or if you think I will die. My prediction, my prediction is I might actually survive this. Flicker wrote, I think you will die off first. No, not so quickly. Not so <laughs> quickly. Okay, Janus wrote, live. Come on, chat, don't be... Don't be shy. Do you think I will survive or do you think I will die? Okay, I definitely have to make a cut here. <laughs> or maybe a time lapse. <laughs> this is really slow. Yeah, so much for no physics in this game in year ten. But it looks it looks comfortable. Maybe maybe this is okay. This will be maybe my thumbnail. M O road live. Hammer, the hammer PT wrote, I bet you will survive. Claudia Gena approves my post. <laughs> Claudia Gena, yeah. You will survive. Flecker wrote, I don't think you are falling straight down. I mean, yeah, I did drops before in buggies and other vehicles, even at 30,000 kilometers. No, sorry, 30,000 meters. <laughs> 30,000 kilometers would be a bit too much. And I think I was falling faster. But at least I like this very much that we have this flicker. Okay, I heard some engine sound. Are you nearby with your... Okay, I see you. What's our altitude now, flicker? I don't have an altimeter. <laughs> or I should say altimeter. I don't have one. Are we still at 17 kilometers? So we didn't fall, we didn't make any progress? He 
you said 17 kilometers before, so we don't make any progress. 70.6? What? Okay, um, I give it like 10 minutes, but then I will, we might do something else. Hello, T888. How long one kilometer takes? Yeah, maybe something is just wrong and I'm not even in the gravity well of this moon. Flickr, what shall, shall I try to catch you? I'm not so sure, Flickr, if this is a good idea. Am I just... Can you come... Can you... Can you can you come next to me and just come to a standstill so that I see if I even make any progress? Hello, hello. Yeah, we are trying different things. We are trying now if I can survive when I fall on a medical stretcher. As you might know, you survive even 30 kilometer drops when you are inside a Vehicle, usually. Okay, did you kick me? Okay, if you are standing still, then I'm actually falling. <laughs> this is slow. I don't know if you can catch me. Okay, I don't trust this. I don't trust if you can catch me. But maybe it's quicker to suicide and come back. Not so sure. I mean, uh, something that really bugs me is, okay, I am sounding like a broken record for those who are longer in the stream. I don't want, I don't need perfect physics. I don't even need Kerbal physics, but what we have in the game is absolutely abysmal bad physics-wise. Now, I'm wondering, is this because CHE wants to work on other things first, or will it stay like this forever? Because this isn't exactly very immersive. If you survive a 30 kilometer fall onto a one sheep planet when you are inside a buggy, okay, Flicker, if you think you can catch me, then try it. I have my doubts. Okay, Flickr tries to catch me because this is way too slow. Or we can just come back. I mean, this, this is silly. This is like walking speed. I mean, I make some progress. <laughs> well, I don't have a tractor beam on me. It's a development speed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Flicker, you can either try to catch me or... We, yeah. Try to catch me, and if I die, then I die, then we come back, because this is not... This is really... This is not boring. <laughs> I mean, I like your idea, and no one... And we, we, we couldn't know that it's so bad, but... What's, what's your speed, Flicker? Huh? 
Okay, Flicker cannot type now. She is very busy, of course. Maybe I get caught into the gravity of the ship now. Looking good, Flicker. Okay, okay, I'm I'm in the elevator. You can go lower, let's say 2000 meters, and we can try again. Very well done, Flicker. Yeah, Flicker can fly. Okay, you can go to like 2000 meters, and there's a ship behind us. Okay. Um, don't you want to go lower? This should be fine. You can just go to... Okay, Flickr wants to make sure. T888 Road, applaud for Flickr. Okay, you even want to close the elevator. Okay, Flickr is always so nice to me. Okay, where am I? There was a ship behind us, looked like a vanguard. By the way, after this, I want to try something. Maybe I can give you a hint what I want to try. I give you a hint. It's tomorrow's video. I show you a thumbnail of tomorrow's video and that's a hint what we are trying to do later. Okay, this is tomorrow's video. <laughs> and I want to try what we can do with a HAL A. The funny thing is, you can do this even in Amistice Zones. So <laughs> I guess CRT will, will work on this. The thing is, when your HAL A is in short form, when your HAL A is in short form, okay, two kilometers, okay, I'm ready. When your HAL A is in short form and you're buying cargo, she expands immediately. This will change, of course, when we are getting the cargo refractor and she kicks like a mule, so you can destroy or damage other ships, even in armistice zones. Okay, I'm floating. And, okay. Okay, I'm fine. Now Flicker is coming down and will kick me out of my ship. <laughs> Flicker will kick me again out of my ship. Oh, you're so mean, Flicker. You're so mean. Doesn't look much faster. <laughs> but hopefully it will, it will not take an hour now. By the way, of course, obviously, I'm not moving this thing. Must be tub turbulences. Okay, will I survive? 2,000 meter fall on Luria. Yeah, what do you think about Flicker? I don't think it's nice. I don't think it's nice to kick the owner of the ship out of the ship and fly away. I think it's bad, Flicker. <laughs> Why did you do this? Flicker wrote bye bye. Oh, 
Oh, Flecker wrote, I don't think it's nice to have your buddy stand around watching you bleed out on the hangar floor. It's not my fault if you don't know how to push a trolley, Flecker. Learn how to push a trolley. Do I even fall? What's your altitude now, Flecker? One point seven. Okay, I'm still falling very, very slowly. Yeah, we still don't have any acceleration in free fall, and things are falling very slowly. Unless your ship gets deactivated by by EMP, then your ship is falling rather quickly. I think it would be far more immersive if we would have some basic level of physics. What do you think, Chad? Just some basic level, nothing too fancy, nothing like Kerbal. Okay, <laughs> maybe we should have started at 10 meters. I'm not even sure if I make any progress, and at this rate, my character will surely survive if he falls like at one meters per second. I guess your Andromeda is standing still, so I make progress. Can you please just stand still so I can see that I make progress? Yeah, I'm falling. Yeah, I mean, my character will surely survive, because when you are falling at like one meters per second, <laughs> which is 3.6 kilometers per hour, then I'm sure you will survive. Yeah, Chad, what do you think? Some basic physics would be nice, right? Just some very basic physics. <laughs> There's Steph wrote, is that Red Bull sponsored? Yeah, Red Bull. Firebrand. Hello, Firebrand. Leopards wrote, get Flicker to give you a boost. No, Flicker will, will take any opportunity to kill me. So I cannot give her a lot of opportunities. What's your altitude, Flicker? So I know when, I'm, <laughs> when I reached your altitude. And I wouldn't mind if you record too. Okay, Flickr is at one kilometer. Yeah, very soon we are reaching one kilometer. Yeah, seriously, this is like a very few meters per second. Flickr wrote maybe three meters per second. So of course you will survive this. Why shouldn't you survive three meters per second? But I expected a bit, <laughs> a bit quicker fall. No, this will no no your your countdown is way too quick, MO. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Are you landed, Flicker? Yeah, I mean of course I should survive this. See. And any second now. Impact. Okay. This was very, very uneventful, but I'm, <laughs> I'm I clipped through the moon. Okay. My stretcher clipped through the moon. Let's see if I can stand up. Okay, you can survive uh, 20. Okay, now of course he has to stand up twice because it's always fun to do everything twice. Okay, you can survive a fall if you are on a stretcher. And of course I have to stand up a third time. Okay, I was standing up three times. 
I hope that Flickr, Flickr, did you see this on your screen too? I was standing up three times on my screen. Okay, this was rather uneventful. I don't know when the patch is supposed to come. Flickr, um, do we want to try now some ships destroyed? Okay, I um, think it's the best to go back to by Genie. I have my ship set. And I make a cut in my video. Okay, I'm ready, you can fly. Well, to be honest, the best the best thing right now is actually a Quaker buggy. You don't need anyone to move your buggy around with a tractor beam and it's falling way faster and you still you still survive almost any fall in a buggy. There are very few areas where you don't survive. I think there are some parts in the spaceport that kill you and there are a few parts I think Microtech is, is bad if you are falling onto those buildings, but otherwise you, you survive fine. And people use this. People abuse, or I should say, abuse this in events where they just landed at a truck lab, for example, and just landed a sniper, a sniper in a buggy. Okay, have a PT, have a nice, have a nice dinner. Yeah, Flickr wrote, you can't target PTVs with weapons, which is correct. You cannot target the buggy with guns. And it's small, and it's small Flickr. It's way less obvious than landing a ship if you are landing in a PTV. Hello, Gino, you missed something. Flickr was kicking me... Flickr was kicking me out of my ship on a stretcher and I survived the fall. I mean, I was falling at like two or three meters per second. Okay, this is by Genie. By the way, Flickr noticed this first, but it's true. The game is very, very laggy around Tressler. Not so sure what's going on this patch. Tom the Dog wrote, are you planning to do an Excel on guns like you do? No, on missiles, no. Guns are way too complicated. There are way too many issues with guns and with shot placement. It's way too hard to do this with guns. You have areas of ships that are indestructible, you have areas of ships that, took, that only take a certain amount of damage, then you have a lot of different guns, can't do it with guns. How different from T.16 is the lag? The lag around Tressler is really massive. No, I haven't, re I haven't reviewed the Expanse sale yet, I don't think there's much to say. I won't buy it, and if you want to buy it, then be my guest. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah, what I noticed uh, is that around Tressler, I, I have a new PC, okay, it's now two months old. Around Tressler, all my fans are spinning, are spinning at max speed, which gets really loud. It's only around Tressler and only on the PTU right now. Maybe I have to buy a HAL-E with store credits to, to, the, to do some testings, but I don't want to buy a HAL-E, I don't own one. I don't think there's anything to review on Expanse. 
it's not too expensive depending on how much tax you have to pay I think for me including my local tax I can tell you how much it is in euros of course you have to convert okay if I buy expense with fresh money it's 146 euros 146 euros including my local tax not not too not too bad but I'm I'm not doing this now I want to see some progress before I give CRG any more money and I gave CRG a lot of money I mean really a lot how many games can you get for that you mean for one Hall A you can get like three games no this patch will go very soon to life but we are I'm at 63% first and 89 hunger and this is a new character sticker this is a new character so this sucks I have to buy something to eat <laughs> I got flicker killed again yeah that's that's always my main goal I got flicker killed again Maybe, maybe Flickr wrote, maybe the fall counted as traveling because Flickr didn't see any hunger or thirst yet. Flickr, can you maybe uh, set your spawn here so that we can, okay, here's littering again, so that we can just suicide back and don't use anything you, you need. Okay, now he still has it in his hands. He was throwing it away. Hello. Okay, Moby class always works. Moby class is like your auto thrower. Okay, Flicker, I spawn Hal A for you, and then I will. I would like to start with. And I spawn a freelancer Welcome for myself, to okay? Vehicle retrieval system. Okay, I have to wait until you are away, of course, I know. Sometimes I forget this. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following... Okay, Hal A is on pet 01. Only... No, no, no flicker. I want to buy full. And don't think it makes any difference. Even if I only buy one SCU, this thing should still totally open up, Flicker. Even if I only buy one SCU. I mean, it should open up anyway. How many ships do you have? Okay. John the Dog wrote, wow, how many ships you have? Okay, uh, I have to repeat Welcome this. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I have to repeat this each and every stream. Those are not my ships well okay i have to admit i own a lot but i have so many ships because i am evil for example i don't have an origin 600i i don't have a 600i touring so i have all those ships because i am evocati yeah i mean 600 Chino or Road, I have a 600i and a Mustang starter pack. Yeah, this is more than enough, of course. Flicker Road, is there any ship Evo, Evo doesn't have besides Lightning? Well, this time I don't have the 600i in this special color. It says 600i for people who spend 25k, and usually we have this, but this time I don't have her. Hello, Mr. Easter Rabbit. Okay, I have to check if... Let me know when you are a way flicker. Okay, I see you are on the way to MISC. 
Yeah, usually we also have 600i in this special Welcome color to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. for people who spend 25k this time I don't have uh, for example I have a liberator I don't own a liberator yeah this time I don't have the special color 600i thank you and please visit again Okay, Flicker is away. Flicker, are we going to Bye. Walla again? I don't care, Walla is fine. Just try to find a spot where we have light. I think it's always nice to have light. One of those Shubins where we have light. Okay? And I follow you in a freelancer. Vehicle selected. Stand by. That's crazy Your how long has been delivered to the have you played this game? No, those, most of those ships are not mine. I just have them because I'm Evocati. Okay, Pet O1. I love waiting for elevators. It's so immersive. Maybe we should also get damaged elevators in repair for more immersion. <laughs> we didn't have to catch two trams for nothing. Why? Why do you say this? Infinite Reach Ministry. Hello, hello. Yeah, I thought about this. Mr. Easter Rabbit wrote, better ask how many missiles did he shoot. I thought about this recently and I think, okay, <laughs> This sounds like bragging, but I don't think there's anyone in the game, and not even any dev, who fired as many missiles or torpedoes as I did. <laughs> I must have fired thousands. <laughs> Gina or Road, I think they have to cut back on little time things we have in the game at some point. No? There will be more time things. Chris wants more time things. There will be physical inventory, so no more. Okay, I just put 10 guns into my ship. You have to move those, each, everyone. There will be much harsher consequences for death. There will be personal hygiene, so. No, it will get worse. It will get way worse. I mean, way worse for me, of course. There are some people who like to play The Sims, which is fine. Nothing wrong with playing The Sims. Thank you. And please visit again. But it's too much for me. So I don't think they will cut back on time things, no. I mean, last Friday, even Jared asked the guy, will there be something like default equipment? People are saying it's annoying to have to spend like 10 minutes each time you die to re-equip your character. And the guy who answered has no clue. No, there will be lockers. I mean, it's really fun if you die. Quite often it's not even your fault. And then you can re quick your character all the time. So don't expect there will be less time things, there will be more. <laughs> A lot more. Okay, I'm coming, Flicker. What did you say, Beth? I can shoot while... Okay, you can shoot while you are... Spooling, okay. Come on, I want to go to mining. Chino or what? That's unfortunate. Yeah, but some people judging by spectrum posting, some people seems to, seem to like it. Some people seem to like to take care of their character, to bath their character, to feed their character. So. For them, it's fine if you get more time six, I guess. Yeah, I noticed something about missiles, Infinite Reach Ministries. 
it seems like they don't do any cooler power plants and shield damage anymore. At least Rattlers didn't. I have to look into this. In 3.16, a lot of ships were shutting down because coolers or power plant were damaged or destroyed. And now it seems maybe CIG took this back. Not so sure. Okay, Flicker Road, just land as close to my read as you can. Okay. Okay, I have to check if my recording is going. Yes, it's going. By the way, um, I have to buy the cargo because it's my Hall A. Flickr cannot buy the cargo, so we will only see the aftermath. But Flickr is recording too, right Flickr? You are recording too? And Flickr will give me her recordings. I will make a video out of this. Yeah, I need your recording, Flickr. You need to record this. Did you forget this? Like <laughs> I need your video. Because when I buy the cargo, we don't exactly see a lot. Okay, Flickr thought about it. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure. It's not that I think that you making mistakes, but I can tell you that yours truly made mistakes in the past. <laughs> I was talking and I forgot to record. I was testing and I forgot to record where I thought you were. Okay, you're here. So everyone can make mistakes. Everyone can forget to record. Is this okay? No. Okay. Uh, okay. I should. Okay. I should go behind you. Okay. I wonder where you should hit. Should we use the cockpit? Okay. Cockpit is fine. I guess. Should we use the cockpit? She's a bit sluggish. Come on. Oh, you want to wedge it in. Okay, so that you cannot move forward. Okay, now I see. If she wouldn't be so sluggish, this would be easy. Eh? Okay, I have to think other way around. Yeah, I know now what you want to do. Okay, I'm touching. Bit more forward. Come on, lift off, lift off. Yeah, um, there's like invisible wall around ships. I cannot get any closer, but this is good. This is good. This is very good. I'm killing my engines. This is very good. <laughs> any news on EMP lately? There will be an EMP test. Hello, Squirrel Lots Gaming. There will be an EMT, an EMP test when 317 is on live. I haven't looked into it yet. What I hate about the store, sometimes you are 
hitting the turret by accident, then you are going up the turret, which I don't like. Okay, Flicker, I know what you I know now what you meant. Okay, speech for the video. Now we have Flicker in Hall A. There's no room at the front. And no room at the rear. By the way, I couldn't get any closer. There's like an invisible wall around ships. But yeah, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what will. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Easter Rabbit wrote it, too, wrote it too. He ended up in a turret so many times. Me too. I hate this because you have to wait for this slow ass animation for turret to go get up and then again the slow ass animation for turret to go down just because you misclicked. <laughs> okay, Flicker, let me know when you are ready to record. Oh, you are using you are, you are standing inside. You are using your third camera view, right? Okay, camera rolling. Okay, I will buy. This is a, oh, this is the wrong building. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was in the wrong building. I thought you selected this because of the window. Sorry, guys, I'm not a trader. I was in the wrong building. <laughs> you can call me a, a noob. Yeah, it's this building. This building with this orange thing is always a building where, where you can buy things. By the way, this is a very good idea, Flicker. You are totally wedged in. Okay, I'm now in the correct building. And I will buy cargo. Yeah, obviously, you, we cannot see Flickr's footage, but I will put it in the video. Okay, I buy anything, 64 SCUs. Okay, Flickr, I'm clicking on purchase. Got it. Okay, let's see if we can find some explosions. Oh, <laughs> okay, but no explosion. No, uh, but you moved here. Yeah, you moved the freelancer quite a bit. Okay, yeah, sorry guys. Flickr will give me her footage. I will make a video for, for Friday. Did you take any damage? Or can you, can you please scan the freelancer and see if freelancer is damaged? Flickr wrote she took damage. Flickr is scanning the freelancer. Okay, Flickr wrote she doesn't know if she's damaged. Okay, freelancer is at 100%, so we didn't do damage to the freelancer, okay. Still, it's funny. And I think you did damage to the Valkyrie. I want to get a smaller ship flicker. Come on, open. Actually, you can stay here. No, you can't stay here, because we cannot sell this. Yeah, we cannot sell this. Yeah, we have to we have to go back. I thought at first um, Flickr could stay here, but Flickr cannot stay here because of the inventory. I'm just suiciding back up, Flickr. Well, the, the, the Valkyrie in our previous test took some damage. And Hal A took some damage this time. Nope. Too late. I suicided. I mean, there are more buildings, like there are other buildings. Or we can use another side. Or I come back and clear the freelancer. 
Yes, I did this too. I've, Mr. Easter Rabbit wrote, I saw a video of a guy who sneaked into another ship using Talon ejection. I did this in Cladius. I have a video of this. I have a video of this. I did this in Cladius. You can eject. I ejected into an Andromeda in while I was in a Cladius. Okay, I'm back in Baichini. I respawned. There are tons. Okay. There are tons of clipping issues in this game. This game is still clipping galore. Still, I'm looking forward to your footage flicker. Must not be, does not have to be tonight. You can you can eject into other ships. You can use boxes, gone boxes, for example, to clip through almost anything in this game. You can clip through the roof of a metro. You can clip into the million mile high club. This game is just clipping galore. Do you want to do hangar again, Flicker? Vehicle Retrieval System. Ah, okay. <laughs> Flicker doesn't want to get an undersuit. For this, I actually have my Carrick here. Vehicle selected. Stand by. This is Mr. Easter Herbert, Herbert. This is why I am not happy when when CHE says, "Yeah, you are to the vehicle you are responsible for your cargo and your ship." Fine, I totally agree with this. But if I'm responsible, then I want some kind of keys, and I don't want other people being able to enter my ship while using exploits. You can you can alm you can enter almost any done. ship with an Your interior. Vehicle, has been moved to our vehicle selected. Stand by. Okay, spawning now my Hal A. Hangar O three. Hangar O three flicker. Mr. Esther Rapid Road, I remember the good old days we could vehicle through doors. Yeah, I have a video in from 2.6 when I was able to get through the doors in Olisa. And if you were able to get through those doors, you could be outside without a spacesuit in, in 2.6. I have a video about this. Gino wrote, at least they have the doors locked by default. No, yeah, but still you can clip into almost any ship with an interior. Opa Terra wrote, hello Opa Terra. The best clipping was the jump down trucks right into the cargo crate from the Spencer. Yeah, I'm not happy that we have so many clipping issues, especially since you can abuse this to steal ships. Yeah, Flicker wants to stay naked, so I spawned Hal E in Hangar 03. Ah, sorry. Okay, I ask. I have to open Hangar doors for Flicker. I have to ask. Sorry, forgot about this. Okay, I'm clear to launch. You are clear to launch. I'm getting now something small. Let, let's say Cladius. I want to try something small. Okay. Okay, Flicker is moving, but I have to wait until she clears the hangar doors, I think. 
Okay, this looks far enough. Okay, I'm spawning now. Welcome yeah. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Maybe if you have to check Thank if you. Please visit vehicle again. You have to check Cladius. Okay. Unable to spawn my Cladius. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Why? Okay, it's on pet over one. Okay, this bug is back too. Console says we are unable, but your ship still spawned. This is in the game for many years by now. And we have this. I don't want to go inside there. You can clip through this and you can just die. Okay, now I want to try. But your idea was very, very good flicker. Can you do this again? This was a very nice idea. Getting wretched between a building and the ship. Another ship, I mean. Flicker has really good ideas. Okay, check. Yeah. Mr. Easter Rabbit wrote, it's really cool that Flickr is helping you. We tested a lot alone a very long time. Sometimes it's easier to test alone, but of course it's more fun and more and more productive if I have someone else. And yeah, I'm very grateful for Flickr helping me. And I didn't I didn't threat to, to kill her, so okay. I didn't put a pistol to her head to make her help me. These were all these are lies. Not true. Not true. I didn't threaten to kill her parents if she doesn't help me. These are all lies. Yeah, we have to check out if this even works. Maybe Cletus is too low. Oh no, wrong. I didn't want to hit this button. Okay, I'm flying with open canopy. Yeah, I'm very happy that Flickr is helping me so, so often. And Flickr tells me she gets recognized when she's playing <laughs> from my videos. <laughs> Yeah, you can still open this and you survive fine because no atmosphere yet. Yeah, it was really funny when you could when you could glitch through the doors in 2.6 in Olisa and wear outside without a helmet. And people were asking you, how are you doing this? Why are you outside without a helmet? Yeah, when you were glitching through the doors, you were home, home free. Go on, Dr. Ward. Totally unrelated, but the fastest way to finish C8-90 mission is with a torpedo. I think you need at least two size nines, right? One shouldn't be enough. One was enough, okay. But aren't you supposed to kill the bad guys and not 890? Flecker wrote in the past, you, you, you failed your mission when you killed, when you destroyed 890.
Is my freelancer still here? No, it's gone. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not so sure. I mean, we can try. You might just, no, this should actually work because you are hitting the sides of the wing. This should work. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I mean, they are already moving each other, so I think this is fine. I think this is fine. What do you think, Flicker? Seems okay. Okay, seems okay. Only okay. <laughs> Why should Flicker have engines off? I have I have turned down I have turned off my engines. And now we have the Cladios. This should do some damage, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting I'm buying something. Okay, there's my freelancer. Opa Terra Road, can't you just extend the cargo crate? Yes, but if you're doing it manually, it's a very slow process. Very slow. But if you buy cargo, it's instantly. That's the difference. Flicker, are your engines on or off? Yeah, but 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 slow menu. Okay, we we can try this, but not now. Okay, I'm buying something. Let me know when you are ready, Flicker. Those reflections. Okay, Flicker is ready. I'm buying 64 SCUs. Purchase and got it. Okay, <laughs> I see something. Okay, uh, I I was hoping for more actually. I mean, you moved the Gladius back, and your Hal A is flipping around. But I wanted to see more. This is sad.
Well, there's some damage here. Okay, it's not much, but there's some cosmetic damage here. By the way, you cannot retract her right now when you have cow. Yeah, no, 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 you, you can't. You can't do this because the button is great. It's not working. It's not. It's great out when you have cargo. I don't even think there's a prompt. Yeah, we, we could try slow extension, but... Yeah, actually, we, we could do this, but now we have to go back, I guess. Okay, Flickr says Cladius is at 99.88, so we did one, we did 0. Point. Okay, new for the video. Flickr wrote, Gladius is at 99.88, so we did 0.12% structure HP damage, which is this paint job. At least it's something, it's something at least. Where are you going? What do you mean? You might have pranked it on takeoff? Flickr is trying to kill me again. I see it. I've joined Channel Hell A. Maybe, nee, no, 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 Flickr, maybe you can land on me. Maybe, maybe we could try this. Land on me. Not with your cargo section, but with your other section. No, you cannot shoot people into the sky. Yeah, right. Land on me. Maybe I can clip inside. This works too with a lot of ships. If you are landing on a player, he is clipping inside. Yeah, this is a habitation section. Yeah. <laughs> this works with almost any ship with an interior. You can just clip inside. This is so silly. This is so silly. Okay, um, do we want to try one more ship? Uh, I mean, this was rather uneventful. I expected a bit more. One more ship? I don't even know what ship I want. I think Valkyrie was actually quite nice. I think I even think she took some damage and she was flipped over quite nicely. How about another Valkyrie? And can you maybe move this ship or just um, self-destruct? I will self-destruct the Cladius so we have room. What if we land upside down? It should work too. I think it should work too. Yeah, like I mentioned, there are so many tricks to clip into almost any ship with an interior. You can use... You can use... Um, ejection, you can use... Medical gone packages, you can use boxes. This game is clip galore. Works with ground vehicles too. With ground vehicles, it works too. Engines 
There were some changes to ground vehicles. I think it doesn't work anymore with the Nova, but it worked too in the past with ground vehicles. Okay, I'm, I'm self-destructing. Okay, can we, can we try the Cutlass? We can try the Cutlass, of course. Why do you think in a hangar? Why Cutlass in a hangar? You want to see if you can walk out of the back of the Cutlass with the door shut. Okay, what, what trick do you want to use? Special trick called, I, I mean, I can spawn another, another character, I can spawn a cutlass in the hangar. I can do this, yeah. No, try and push a crown vehicle. No, this doesn't work. You cannot push a crown vehicle. You can push a crown vehicle with another vehicle, but not even this works most of the time because no physics. This game has like almost no physics. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Ah, you mean this? This should work. This should work. Try to push a crown vehicle with Hull A extending. We can actually do this. We can do this. This should work. Vehicle selected. Stand by. <laughs> Soviet citizen. <laughs> Okay, I spawn now a cutlass. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay, now my list is very short. This happens sometimes that you get a very short list. Maybe it's a list of another player. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Flicker, someone is asking why you. Oh, where are you? I don't see you. Are you are you nearby? Are you next to me? I don't see you, Flicker. Okay, this is a bug. Okay, that's then maybe we should go back to menu. I don't see you. This is a bug we had in 3.16 already. That sometimes when one of you dies or when both die, they cannot see each other, or only one of them can see the other one. No, the reason why no cloth is because you don't have to waste an undersuit. By the way, there will be a patch today. Okay, I'm back in menu. There will be a new patch today, so this might end rather shortly with a 10k. Let's see. Okay, I read a comment. The first two fuel tanks are for refining. Okay, I was wondering, because you only have six fuel tanks for external fuel in the Starfarer, but she has eight tanks. Okay, now I know. The first two are for refining, for refining fuel.
maybe the patch is coming very late. Sometimes it's it's coming like 11 p.m. Europe time. But I had patches that were coming rougher quickly. Doesn't seem like it's ready. It's <laughs> 317 is was not even ready when it was not on the public PTU. It's not it's not ready. But I'm still sure that CHG will push it out soon. Anyway, because there will be a 317.1 which will be not ready either. <laughs> But it will have a new ship. Scorpius, right? Orison Expo, no, I didn't see it, but yeah, Expo is now on Orison. So the, the most, the most annoying planet in this game right now. <laughs> CHA is forcing us to go to Orison. Of course, I will make videos of this show, but Vehicle selected. Stand by. I don't have to go to Orison because I have a second account. I will just park my second account At Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. I try to avoid I try to avoid Orison like the plague. This is so annoying to get out of atmosphere. Okay, Flicker. Oh, I have to claim my cutlass. I don't have a cutlass here. I have to claim her. Sorry. Your insurance claim has been sent. Had the night still not stacking. I am this is a question for Jack Exton. Don't Thank know. You. Two minutes, Flicker. We have two minutes to wait for delivery of Cutlass Black. Please visit us again. Okay, then we have time. I don't understand why they did this. I mean, okay, this game has no physics and CHG doesn't care about science, but a gas giant as a planet with a preferable atmosphere and with an Air with a spacecraft manufacturer is so wrong on so many levels, I don't even know where to start. Let's start. You have a gas giant which contains a lot of hydrogen and you have a preferable oxygen atmosphere on top. Hmm, hydrogen and oxygen, what would happen in real life? <laughs> Flicker vs. Camaral. Okay. Yeah, that's the first problem that you have a preferable atmos uh, oxygen atmosphere on top of a gas giant. Second problem is gas giants have very strong radiation. You would get fried. You would die in seconds or minutes. Third problem is gas giants have quite a bit of gravity. So why would you build spaceships in a deep gravity well? It's much deeper than Earth. Why would you even build spaceships on Earth? You would, you would build spaceships in orbit because you don't want to build something and have to get it out of a gravity well, especially Welcome not to the ASOP vehicle if it is a gravity well of a gas giant. So this is so silly on so many levels that I have no, no, more, no more words. Says no, a gas giant doesn't make any sense as a spacecraft manufacturer or as something you would like to live on. Okay, I'm Vehicle getting my selected. cutlass black. Stand by. Yeah, I, I want clean windshields too and no scratches. Okay, hangar, hangar or two flicker. And the stick suit, the best suit in the game. Everyone uses it. It it must be the best suit in the game. It's a stick suit. Yeah, a gas giant doesn't make any sense to manufacture a spacecraft. Why would you manufacture a spacecraft if you have to get some out of an 8 or 9G gravity well? Why not just build in space, in orbit? <laughs> Please, someone give Chris 
a physics books for beginners, like fifth grade or so. <laughs> please, please. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. You also have to bring all the materials down. Actually, okay, Infinite Reach wrote an EMP thrice electronic and electronics and microchips. How can a ship regenerate after an EMP weapon? Actually, a lot of electronic circuits can regenerate after an EMP attack. Should I go inside flicker? And should I make light? It's so dark, I make light, right? Yeah, um, there are EMP attacks in real life that can totally fry your computer or your circuits, and there are EMP attacks in real life that can fry your computer only for like a few seconds, few minutes. Depends all how strong the pulse is and how strong, how hardened your device is. Yeah, but even at 150k, it still has strong gravity. So you are bu so you are building ship into a deep gravity well. Why? <laughs> Why not just build in orbit? Okay, Flicker, I don't know what you want to do, but I'm very curious. You crashed, you crashed to desktop. I see you still in front of me. Did you crash? You closed the door and you crashed. Okay, I see you inside. Okay. Should I just wait here? Okay, Flickr crashed. I still see you in front of me. But I cannot kill you now. I cannot kill you now, Flickr. So sorry. Jean O wrote, need room for them whales. Yeah, but CHG could have always and just as a planet you can visit. But I think no one would build spaceships in an 8 or 9G gravity well. <laughs> And not to forget, not forget about radiation, and not forget about oxygen atmosphere on top of hydrogen. The only way that, that could, this could work is if you would have a total screen around the hydrogen. Think about how much effort this would be, and for what? <laughs> EMP is supposed to shut down components. I'm actually fine with the veil idea. I mean, this is a bit, okay, this is fantasy, but I'm fine with this. I'm not fine with building space, spaceships in the gravity well of 8 or 9G, <laughs> which is just totally silly. <laughs> when you can as well just build in orbit. This is something, one of the few things Star Trek actually did well. In Star Trek, your spaceships were built in orbit. What was the name of the spaceship building site? It had a name in Star Trek. Yeah, genau, exactly. Europe Planitia, right, exactly, Russell. This makes sense. It makes sense to build spaceship in orbit so you don't have to bring them out of gravity wells. And especially not out of 8 or 9G. <laughs> Cloud City is actually nice. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with having a planet with clouds, but please, not a gas giant. 
gas giants, you don't want to live on a gas giant. So the least thing you want to. In space, actually, Flickr wrote, where do, where do spaceships spend most of their time? Usually in space. In this game, in Star Citizen, a lot of ships are spending their time on moons and planets, I guess. Mr. Easter Rabbit says nothing against a floating city. There's nothing, I have nothing against the idea of a floating city. I have nothing against the idea of a cloud planet. Both are totally fine and can happen in real life, but I am absolutely against living on a gas giant. Gas giants have radiation levels that Van Allen Belt is nothing against this. By the way, you are still standing in front of me. Maybe should I go to menu two and we try again? I mean, this is silly that you are still standing in front of me. Yeah, I mean, Cloud City above Venus would actually make sense, would make total sense. And now you are moving. Are you back? Okay, Flickr is back. Okay, Flickr wants to glitch now through this door, I think, through the ramp. No, I have no idea what she wants to do. Almost. Okay, you looked like you were outside for a split second. Yeah, you are outside. <laughs> How did you do this? Just sprinting? Okay, I can't do this. Flicker, did you see this? Flicker went through the ramp. Ah, me too. Me too, Flicker. I'm outside. I'm outside. I didn't know this. How did you know this, Flicker? Ah, look, look where Flicker is on my screen. <laughs> Flickr, on my screen, you are sitting where the Cutter Steel has this new turret. Look here. Flickr, you are still on the Cutlass. No, no, not in the turret. You know where Cutlass Steel has this new turret? This, this is where you are on my screen. You are on top of the ramp. And now you are falling down. I still don't have any medical things on me. I hope you didn't die. Where are you now? Did you die? Did you suicide? Okay, Flickr was stuck here. Yeah, on my screen, you were stuck on top of the ramp, but I made it outside. Okay, I didn't know this. How do you know all those things? I'm really, I think it's really, crazy how you know all those things. Yeah, Flickr and I, we went through the ramp, through the closed ramp. So much for you are responsible for your ship. You can glitch into almost any ship with an interior. Flickr, do you want to take the, the Cutlass and I get a Hull A when you are off? Okay, I'm opening hangar doors for you. You are clear to launch. Russell, I don't know why my ship is not ticketed. Don't know. I don't know why my ship isn't in, impounded. Maybe CRG changed the timer. I, maybe because of Starfarer. If you spawn a Starfarer and if you are buying quantum and hydrogen fuel for your external fuel tanks, it takes a while. I would say easily four or five minutes just to fill your external fuel tanks. Flickr wrote timer is 20 minutes, so maybe they changed this.
And someone wrote earlier, there is no flicker, I'm playing flicker. No, I'm not that good at playing two at once. I played two characters at once quite often, but I'm not that good. <laughs> okay, flicker, I'm getting a hull A. Then we can try one thing first. We can try to push a vehicle using hull A manually, okay? So we don't lose her. Yeah, I mean, we can go back to what was the 61, I think it was still daylight, if it's still daylight. We, I want to try suggestion from the chat, I forgot who was it, if we can try to push a crown vehicle just using manual, manual expanding. And then we can try to destroy a cutlass. Okay, I'm getting Thank now HAL A. You're outside, right? Yeah, you're outside. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay, I have to I have to answer the Your same has been sent. I have to answer the same question again and again. Okay, I yeah, you could still spawn the wrong ship. Why do I have so many ships? Those are not my Your ships. BL, those are not my ships. I have so many ships because I am I am Evocati on the PTU. Evocatis on PTU have access to almost every ship. No, no, the she didn't give me anything for testing. This is just because I am Evocati. And on the PTU, Evocati have access to almost every ship. If you're not Evocati on the PTU, you don't have access to any special ships, I think. Not even Hal A, which I find really sad. Why don't they give Hal A to everyone on the PTU? Would be much better. So they can find bugs. Flicker wrote, what is the most frequently asked question? Yeah, the most frequently asked question is, why do you have so many ships? <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. CHE should give ships like HAL A to everyone on the PTU, I think. It would be much easier to find bugs. Maybe I should I should make a sticky. No, I don't own those ships. I am Evocati on the PTU. Oh, <laughs> but to be honest, I do own quite a lot of ships. <laughs> Too many, actually. Thank you. And please visit again. Plebs. I should say I own those plebs. You are plebs. No, I don't do this. <laughs> By the way, Flicker Hal A has a very big quantum thingy. It's almost as big as in the Super Hornet. You need a shadbird. No, maybe maybe I need a shadbird if I do this more often and if I get more viewers.
No, no, I mean the quantum jump thing is very big in Hull A, where you are spooling, uh, where you are spooling and calibrating. Yeah, it's a misc bug. I think yeah, I think Prospector also has a very big quantum thing. Yeah, Prospector is even worse. Yeah. Okay, it's acting up. Come on, calibrate. Super Hornet is also worse with interfaces. BL Road, watch your videos all the time, they are really good. Thanks for your effort. Yeah, thanks for finding some help for <laughs> You're welcome. Complete. I think Hal E was $60 in concept. I wonder how much he will be. I guess less than freelancer. Mr. Issa Rabbit Road, do you reach the uh, if do you do you reach I can't, I can't talk anymore. Do you reach the F8 much money? I'm not talking about this. I'm not talking about this without my law lawyers. Sorry. I don't like the name either, The Expanse, because Expanse is one of my favorite science fiction shows. So I don't like that CRG stole the name The Expanse. I don't like this. Flicker, um, can you spawn a cyclone? Do you have a cyclone? Do you think tank? Okay, yeah, okay, we can we can try a tank. I mean, mass doesn't. <laughs> there is no mass in this game, so we can as well try a tank. Okay, this looks good. Tank has a lot of armor, so not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, uh, the golden F8 is 15k. Two and a half thousand gold. No, no. Or is it? No, I think, yeah. Golden Armor is 5k and Golden Armor is really bad and looks bad and is not very good. Only 20%. 10,000 is Lightning and 15,000 is Lightning with the other color scheme. But maybe, okay, I should maybe make it a little more tidy. Okay. Okay, Flicker, are you coming 
I'm where you are getting the cargo, where we did all the other tests. Very close to your cutler, so you don't have my marker again. I don't think it would, it would do much if I go vertical and then try to expand. She will just move forward, I guess. The tank needs a lot of work. I mean, actually, everything in this game. Okay, um, can you just drive towards your cutlass? I'm at a building with this orange light where you where you buy cargo. Have we did the previous tests? Okay, I'm going outside. I'm coming. I hate this. Okay, so there's a floating cargo pod. I saw your tank earlier, and now I don't see it anymore. Did you move your tank? Okay, I see your tank. Yeah, just drive forward. Or do you want to do this here? I actually have a, have a nice spot. I have a nice spot flicker. Flicker, this took me several minutes to park my Hell A and you are just lifting off Flicker. Oh, why did you do this? She was perfectly parked. I even lined her up perfectly. <laughs> okay, you want to try to push the tank into the landing pad, I see. Yeah, I think Hal E Essence is a good design, I think. I like the idea very much that it might be much easier to load, unload if you have to do it. You need to move a bit more forward if you have to do it ourselves. Okay, now there's still... Oh, you see it yourself, I guess you're using that passive view. And look how easily the tank gets moved because no mass, we still don't have any mass in the game. Okay, and now Flickr tries to move the tank, expanding Hal A, slowly expanding Hal A. Okay, not much happened, but you can see ships and vehicles still don't have any half with decent mass simulation. The tank was moved around like it's an empty paper bag. Do you want to try one more time, Flicker? Or maybe how about give the tank some room to move? How about this liquor? I can move the tank. By the way, what happened to the paint shop? That's funny. Turret has camouflage. Hull doesn't have camouflage anymore. That's funny. I'm pretty much sure the Hull had camouflage too, right?
try this. By the way, the tank still doesn't have brakes. Yeah, there's an invisible wall around ships and vehicles. But this should do. Okay, I'm leaving the tank. I don't see, think we did much damage. Don't think so. Okay, Flicker, we are ready. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks funny, but not much happened. Not much happened. Yeah, so you can move vehicles, but not much damage is done. Maybe maybe we did some very little damage to the tank. Can you maybe scan the tank flicker? Oh, it sparks. It sparks. And funny, the tracks are moving, but the tank isn't moving. We had this in the other way around. We had a tank that was moving, but the tracks were standing still. Nothing can stop Hal A's stretch. No, nothing can stop it. Flicker even wretched Hal A between two walls, kind of diagonal, in a hangar, and even this didn't prevent the stretching. Flicker, do you want to scan? And then we try the cutlass, and then maybe we get. Maybe the, look how the tank is moving. <laughs> I would have to check. I think this moon has like 0.3 G. Still, vehicles don't move like this, not even in, in 0.3 G. Like I mentioned, there is no mass simulation in the game yet. Things have the mass of an empty paper bag. I think if you uh, had it between two buildings, it would fly out or explode. Well, it's impossible to find two buildings where Hal A exactly fits in between. But CRG tried this, CRG tried to wedge a Hal, a Hal A in between, in between two hangar walls, diagonal. Okay, Flickr says tank is at 100%. But maybe you can find a building, two buildings, where you can park a non-stretched Hal A exactly in between. But this would be a lot of work to find such a building. Flicker, I'm now getting the cutlass, okay? And you can park your Hal A like you did it before. Well, CRG has to work on a lot of things, on, on some basic level of physics, nothing like Kerbal, just some basic level, and health and distribution of structure age points, there's a lot of work to do. Okay, 
Okay, Flicker actually tries to find a spot where she can park Hal A in between. But I want to try the cutlers. Uh, maybe we can do both. I think Flickr found a spot. This could work, this could work. And now Flickr found a spot where there isn't a lot of room at the front and very little at the rear. And I will buy some cargo now. By the way, on my screen, your cargo things are now in a very strange configuration. <laughs> they are in 290 degrees. They are going to the outside. Is this on your screen too, Flickr? Okay, on Flickr screen, the cargo pods are looking closed. On my screen, they are looking 90 degrees, going outside. Hypertion road, it has turned into a sailing ship. <laughs> Those are solar sails. Okay, Flickr, I will buy now some cargo, right? I don't think she will explode. I don't think this will happen. Okay, I'm getting some cargo. Hal E. 64 units. Come on, 64. Oh, I have to select what type. 64 units and flicker. Oh, it says destination full. It says destination full. I try anyway. I try to buy. Okay, I hear something. Okay, the front is, is now clipping into the building. Okay, you are now clipping into the building at the front. This thing is so strong that Halle is even, is even clipping into a building. This is funny. Flicker, are you inside the building on your screen? On my screen, the cockpit is inside the building. And now it's, yeah, now you went free. <laughs> Friendly space track and road. Can you see the nose from inside the building? Yeah, sorry, I was too slow. It went, it broke free on its own. Flicker, do we want to get another Hal A and try the Cutlass? By the way, where is she now? Oh, there. Okay, you are now fine. I wanted. To, I want um, what we did with the with Cladius and Freelancer buying cargo, seeing if we can damage the cutlass. I don't even know what I bought. <laughs> I bought the first thing top left. Why? 
I mean, we cannot sell this here, so we have to get a new HAL A. Or I can fly back with a HAL A, and you can stay here. Hydrogen flicker road, if you find a hydrogen crate and you shoot it with a laser, it explodes. I mean, it shouldn't explode. You can fire all day long at hydrogen. If there's no oxygen, it won't explode. And even if there's oxygen, it will rather burn, but not explode. Okay. Hypertian Road, does the cargo have any physics? Yes, I cannot walk through it. Can you walk through it? No, it has collision, at least sometimes. <laughs> Flicker, um, I could come back with a Hall A. You can stay here if you want to. I have nothing to shoot with me. Okay, yeah, I have the Cutlass. Okay, yes, we can, we can. Oh, Hypatian has thrown a tank through a full C2, okay. Yeah, there are tons of issues with clipping. I hope that CHG will start to work on clipping and on halfway believable physics one day. No, I'm I'm going to kill Flicker now. It's time. It's time to kill Flicker. So you want me to shoot at your cargo? Ah. Uh, Sorry, I have ESP is on. I hate ESP. I said convergence to 100 meters. Minimum I can go. I cannot go any lower than 100 meters. I have all power to laser. Yeah, it's just starting to smoke and to burn, like always, even though this is not an oxygen atmosphere. You have this in space too, that it starts to burn and you can even retract when it's burning. Not now, because we have cargo, but you can retract when it's burning and you don't see anything burning from inside. We did this in Arena Commander last week. You just see those silly flames that don't make any sense because no oxygen. But it's just fluff, nothing happening. Should I continue, Flicker? I think we have seen this before. We have done this in Arena Commander. You just get those silly flames. And sometimes you can shoot off. See if it tops cargo when it explodes. Should I, should I destroy your Hal A and see if the cargo will get dropped? Okay, Flicker wants me to destroy her Hull A and see if the cargo falls down. Can you go a little bit higher then? 
So I have more time to see cargo falling down. Yeah, that's 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 good. That's good. Okay, I will now now kill Flicker again, and let's see if cargo will fall down. That's a good idea, actually. Or if the ship will just explode in one piece. Okay, this takes a while. But I see cosmetic damage. No, it just disappeared. There are some... A few things falling down, but cargo just disappeared. Did it fly to the ground? On my screen it just exploded. No, I don't see I don't see any cargo containers falling down. Maybe they were falling down on your screen. I saw a few bits and pieces falling down. But not cargo containers. Flicker wrote, if you kill a cat, you have lootable cargo boxes. No, I mean not this time, not here. No. Oh, I guess this will change. I don't think it's pirate proof. Flickr wrote it's pirate proof. I don't think so. Okay, I can leave the cutlass here. And I can suicide back and get Hal A. Well, I don't have a lot more ideas. I mean, I would like to make, I would like to do the cutlass, and I'm out of idea, out of ideas. And we are getting a new patch anyway, rather soon, I guess. Yes, Hal A fits inside a C2. People already tested this. Okay, do you get an undersuit flicker or should should I spawn outside or inside? Hal A? Okay, Flickr is still loading. I mean... What if you load a Hull A inside SC2 with cargo? I don't know if, Hull, if Hull A fits with cargo. I read that Hull A fits without cargo. Flicker, did you hear anything about Hull A inside C2?
I don't, we don't have two Hull A's. <laughs> you only have one Hull A. Yeah, Hull A with cargo inside C2 is some next level cargo playing. Yeah, it doesn't even make any sense. Why? I mean, okay. It would make sense if you would like to transport your Hull A, but without cargo, not with cargo. <laughs> Yeah, the game take it, takes it into consideration when you are buying cargo, if you have something in the cargo hold. Yeah, Opatera Road, you can spawn the same Hall A multiple times, yes, but it's, yeah, only two people. <laughs> Another thing, maybe I'm wondering if you fixed this animation when you buy, when you quick buying something. Look, I quick buy. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. It takes. Okay, this takes way too long. Again, quick buy. Okay, yeah, you're moving to the center, and then you are crapping this thing. <laughs> I find this funny. And if you quick buy a hot dog, you are getting moved to the other side. Look, to the center. <laughs> Both of those animations are wrong. And I don't like it that CHE put this trash bin here, so only one player can actually buy something to drink. So this trash bin shouldn't be here. I have to play architect for CHE. <laughs> Tom the Hawk. Tom the dog wrote, I hope they're adding the option to buy more than just one foot. Yeah, they have to. I mean, it's really, let's say you want to buy four things to drink. Look how quick this is in this game. Okay, you have bought one thing to drink. Then you want to buy one more thing to drink. Look how quick this is. <laughs> uh, Flicker, we can call it quits. It's okay. I, I, I don't think it would be much differ different in the cutlass. Okay, now you have two things to drink. You want to buy one more thing to drink. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, Flickr is loading very slowly and we are getting a new patch n today. I call it quits. Thanks, thank, you, uh, thank you very much again, Flickr, for all the help and thanks, Chat, for watching, for keeping me company. I call it quits for tonight. There will be a new patch soon. Okay, sorry, it's a rather abrupt ending, but Flickr has trouble getting back in. And we are getting a new patch today anyway. Yeah, I hope you had fun and see you next time. Bye.